All right, so for 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 you and for everyone who's stuck on this one, I'm assuming uh, you're, you're down here and you already did four and five, right? Yep. So just real quick, tell me, tell me what you put down for number four there. Two uh, alleles for each gene. Two is then... perfect. So you should have two alleles for every gene. And then in the gametes, how many alleles would you have? So remember the gametes, last year when you guys went over meiosis, the gametes are what you get and they have half the DNA. How many would you have uh, if you only have half? Well, if you started with two, what's half of two? Uh, one. One, yeah. So normally, right, your cells have, have one. Normally your cells have one set of DNA. Oh, that's weird. And then if you divide it into two, we did meiosis, we're only gonna have half the DNA. So you had two split into one. And then the picture down here is actually just showing you that, right? So we got some uh, heterozygous pea plants. What would their genotype be? And it's tall, right? Right. So we got a tall plant. Uh, what kind of T would we have for to make it tall? The, the capital one. Yep. And if it's heterozygous, the other allele would be a? Small T. Little T, very good. And that is called the genotype. And then the phenotype for that would be how would that plant look, tall or short? Tall. Yep. And then you see this right here, big T, little T? Yeah. That's, that's this plant we were just talking about. Okay. All right. So we got John's parent plants. And when we make the gametes, we're only going to have half the alleles, just like we set up here, right? Right. So first thing we do, we got to label the parents with a P because that's how we label them in genetics problems. These two plants, guess what they are? The P? Yeah. And so this bracket over here, let's just label that as P. And these plants down here, that's, that's the offspring. And we'll label that as F1 because it's the first generation of offspring. A little subscript one. If we were to take any of these two plants and like cross them, like have them reproduce with each other, that would make another generation. We call those the F2. You'll see those in later problems. So that's where the P's and F's go. And then here's where it gets real fun. Down here, what do you suppose we do with these lines here? You separate the capital T and the oh, uppercase T? Yeah, you got it. You separate the capital T and the lowercase T. You'll do the same thing over here, right? Just burp, burp. And then just, just you know, follow, follow the lines. All right. So whatever is here, that's going to go there for big T. And then this big T will also go right there. And then whatever is over here, follow that line, it'll go there. And there. You see how that works? Yeah. Nice. And then the only other thing you have to remember to do is below each of these, it says right here we got to... Uh, write the phenotypes for each offspring below the circle. So each of these plants will either be tall or short. Remember, it's Mendelian, uh, autosomal, so there's no medium-sized plant that's either tall or short. And then you'll be able to double check it, because I know you've done Punnett squares before. So right, you know, you drop and slide, big T, big T would be there. Should be the same as there. Does that, does that help? Yes, thank you. Oh, sure, no problem. And then um, make sure, your paper should have a couple links at the top of this second page. Yeah. Make sure you watch that about how to do a phenotype, genotype, ratio, and probabilities, because that's how you answer all the questions on the second page. All right. Okay, nice. If you have any other questions, holler at me.